Well, she was feeling pretty insecure about her husband. There were a ton of red flags there. She thought that her husband might be messing around online, and she wanted our help to try to catch this guy last night. We attempted, and we'll give her the results here in just one second. Hey, Rachel, good morning. Good morning. All right. So tell us what got us to this point. (laughs) Yeah, well, we'll find out in a couple of minutes. Um, Tell us what got us to this point here. Well, um, you know, like I said in my email, my husband, it's, it, of course, it's involving Instagram. Um, he doesn't really use a lot of social media. And I noticed that he was liking and commenting on all the posts of this woman that he works with. And he never, um, he never comments. He never likes. He never says anything on, on my, you know, on my Instagram and he's constantly saying that like social media is a waste of time blah 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 but as i noticed that he was making all of these comments um on her instagram profile i started to get you know a little suspicious and it's his coworker so you know they're around each other all the time and i was thinking about letting it go but um <laughs> about a week ago he said he had to work really late and when he came home, he had dog hair all over his pants. And we, we don't have a dog. <laughs> we don't have uh-huh. a cat. We don't have any animals that come. And I realized, too, that, you know, from seeing her pictures and seeing all of her posts, that the color of the hair, she has a, a Pomeranian. And so the same hair color, like this golden hair color, was all over his pants. And I would have never I'm noticed like, this, man. Ever. I would have never. Uh, women are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Women that is some serious things. detective work. I mean, if we don't we, have a pet, we'll see the hair. <laughs> really? Like yeah. I, oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I can see that as soon as like, he walks in the house. It's like. Doo, 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 yeah. With a guy. Well, We're thinking of bobbleheads, right? It, Spread them. It, <laughs> it wasn't like as soon as he came in, you know what I mean? But, you know, we sat, he sat down on the couch and we were just like kind of talking and. I was just kind of, you know, looking at him and I looked down and I saw that like all on the thighs, on the top part of his pants. And I was like, he had a dog on his lap. Like, you know, it wasn't like all over his shirt or anything, but it was right on his legs, on the thigh part. So like if you were holding a a cat or a dog, but then I realized that it's the same like blondish, goldish color as her freaking Pomeranian. So... But not the, the vision, woman, right? The vision, yeah. The vision I have in my head is like somebody with like night vision on, you know, where it's all green and you can see the one person or and he walks in the house and you see the, that hair, Mo. Has he given you any other reasons to ever feel any suspicions or has it just been this one instance? Um, No, that's, I mean, it sounds silly, you know, when when you say it like that, you know, like, is that it? But it's a big thing, you know, and yeah. we've been having problems since the, you know, since the lockdown and he hasn't been, you know, it hasn't been like overly obvious, you know what I mean? Like him ignoring me or anything like that, but mm-hmm. it's mostly just his involvement with her on Instagram. And I know that might sound crazy, but women who know, you know, a lot of their husbands don't spend time on social media. And he is consistently, I won't say constant, but consistently commenting and liking, you know, her, liking her posts. And that is very suspicious to me because he doesn't do it for anybody, you know. And he has a niece who's, you know, really popular on Instagram and he doesn't even comment on her stuff. (laughs) So it's just this chick that he works with. Yep. See, sometimes people call it women's intuition. I feel like our brains are like the Iron Man suit where we just like, we scan, we find the Mm -hmm. threat. Is it lipstick on the collar? Is it dog (laughs) hair on the pants? What is it? And then like, she's just known for weeks. Like this is weird Instagram behavior. And it is. I think sometimes those likes are like, hey, look at me. Hey, just want to let you know I'm seeing you right over there. So I understand why you're feeling insecure about it. All right. So we did this whole War of the Roses thing where um, we sent him the fake promotional email to his email address, and Davi will explain this whole thing in a second. Um, 
to see if he would send these flowers back to you or back to somebody else. And we do have some results for you. Okay, Dom, you want to take oh it from God. here? Yep. We sent the fake promotional email to the email address that Rachel provided us for him. Um, he was offered a free bouquet of flowers, and he was able to choose from several options with pictures. Here we go. My best bud. A true expression of friendship is seen in this beautiful pink rose plant, freshly budding and ready to bloom. Plant outdoors, and just like your friendship, it will flourish with care. Best mom ever. Admit it. You forgot to gift her for her special day, but it's not too late. Wish her a happy belated Mother's Day with this beautiful spring blooming potted mum. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Aloe vera plants can soothe the skin, the air, and the soul. Let this easy to care for succulent care for you. Kabloom, an expression of roses, an explosion of roses, sorry, for the woman who makes your heart burst. This bouquet with two dozen red roses will be one she won't forget. In exchange for these flowers, he was asked to share 10 promotional codes for 30% off of a future order with his friends and family. The first promotional email was sent at 1048 a.m., a second email went out around 1.23 p.m. He ordered flowers at 2.47 p.m. He chose Kabloom, an explosion of red roses for the woman who makes your heart burst. This bouquet with two, red, two dozen red roses is one that she won't forget. He asked for it to be sent to April. Oh my God. That is not your name, Rachel, mm. correct? No, that's her name. <laughs> that is her oh. name. I'm so sorry. Oh and he said he set delivery for 11 a.m. Saturday to be delivered to a home address. The note on the card said, "Just to let you know that I can't stop thinking about you." Uh, Greg. Oh my God. Mm. I'm so sorry. I, I. <laughs> I don't even really know what to say right now. Like, I mean, it's different thinking it and then knowing it is something else. Right. That's. Yeah. I'm oh sorry. my God. Yeah. I'm so I don't think you can even right like a. Mo even like emotionally prepare for it because I mean I mean all the red flags were there we were kind of joking about it yesterday that yeah I mean come on of course this guy's messing around but you're right uh, when push comes to shove and you get it as fact that's a completely different thing so you know that's jarring for sure so I'm not sure what you do with it at least you know now I'm trying to say something positive but there's nothing well no and that's the thing because you know it's it's one, like I said, it's one thing to think about it, and it's right. another to know about it because it's not like, you know, it was just a flirt thing and it's going to go away. If he says he can't stop thinking about her, then that means that he doesn't want to be with me. You know, and we've only, you know, we've only been married five years. So if it's, you know, and I, I, I I don't even get it because, you know, he was working from home remotely so much of this time. He's only recently gone back into the office. So I don't know if he's been like, if this thing has been like going on or if it happened like once they got back. I, I just have a lot of questions because I don't, you know, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter how long it's been going on, but I... <clears throat> I don't want to think that my marriage is 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 over, but I can't understand why he wouldn't say something to me because now I just feel like is he planning on leaving? Is he, you know, like are they? I I just I, now I'm like even more freaked out than I was before because yeah, now I, know. I wish there was. I wish there was something I could say, you know, but I mean it's just so new. Now you got the truth. You know, you could take it from here. It's been a problem for a while. I think you felt that, but now it's time to face it. And at least you know now and you can handle it from here. You know, I, I wish I had something. I hate when these end this way because it's always so arc awkward and it's heartbreaking. And I understand that your life took a direction now that you didn't want it to take. So I wish I had something more positive to say. This sucks. I, 
I'm just totally over... I'm sorry, but I'm just, like, really overwhelmed right now because I don't... I don't want to not confront him about it, but I don't know any other... any other... any other way. And I know well, he's going to find th- out. Sure. Rachel, let's do this, because it's probably just cruel to keep you on while this is so emotional and you're thinking about these things out loud right now. So go spend some time off the radio. It's probably cruel just to have you continue to like talk about this and try to figure out exactly what's going on. So it's also new. It's also heated. Um, if you need to talk to us later, then we'll be here for you. I don't know, really sorry. know what else to say on that, except sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I appreciate that. I would say thank you, but I don't, I'm not happy. Yeah. No. I mean, I'm, don't say I'm, thank you. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> no. glad, I'm glad that I know, but I'm just, yeah, I think I'm just going to go. That's a good idea. I'm sorry. Okay. You want to call us back or you need a transcript to all this? You let us know. Okay. I think she's, she's gone. gone. I think she's gone. And that's a, I, I hate when they that. end that way. Yeah. Like, the next time they, it's the worst, man. The next time they end that way, you guys are taking over. It's, I'm leaving. I was trying. I had I'm leaving. I, gave I, it I was shot. trying to help. <laughs> I am leaving. She's, her brain's got to be doing the zoomies right now. Like, she's yeah, just man. asking a thousand questions. The only way she'll get those answered is talking to him. It's a bird show. The bird show.